We're going out to the garden to pick our lunch. I was looking in the fridge, trying to figure out what to eat for lunch, and I was a little puzzled, kind of like, ah, uh, need to go to the store. And then I shook myself and said, wait a second, why am I not in the garden? And uh, picking some corn to add to a lunch that'll basically all be from our place. We got some nice oh, big ears of corn here. We planted our corn all at once. If I make it actually time to get out here and pick almost all of the rest of it today, we didn't stage it out. We basically planted it for winter storage, saying, "Hey, we're gonna we want to freeze a bunch because we love that as much as we love fresh corn. Honestly, we love having that." fresh frozen corn in the freezer. Hey, come up here and see this pumpkin, dude. You won't believe it. That's what I'm doing. There's a giant pumpkin here. And I'm asking Justice, my son, to come up here and check it out. He's not seen it yet. And I think it's gonna kind of blow his mind. It's the biggest pumpkin we've ever grown for, for sure. Uh, or let's say by far the biggest pumpkin we've ever grown. You're not gonna believe how big it is. Okay. Yeah. You see it? Is it got one? Yeah, you see that? How big is it? Show us with your arms. It's like that big. Bigger. Bigger, bigger. Yeah, about that big. It's right down here, hiding in the bushes. It is enormous. Really nice sized pumpkin. Do you think you could pick that one up? No. No, I don't think so. There is a bunch of squash out here in the garden, but a lot of it's also been hit by the vine borers. I'll tell you, I've just lost the base of my plants to even spray with BT. Like, I can't even find them. I need to. Um, put in tobacco stakes in every hill or put in stakes in every hill next year so I can find where to go and just regularly spray my BT. I was spraying them and, and literally to find each base it's like a search just to find the base of one plant but here's something that I want to find and it's what it's a melon down here I'm bringing that yep it's done it broke right off um, first melon from our garden ever oh my goodness it smells so good. Just the end of it. This is exciting. I didn't expect this. I said, we're gonna have a really grand garden lunch, but now this is just spectacular. I just got stung by a caterpillar. I, I'm assuming it's a cattle saddleback caterpillar because they love the corn. I, oh my goodness. I've been searching for it so I could show you. When you um, go to the grocery store, you, the last thing you expect would be getting stung by a caterpillar on your food, right? Well, that is one of the hazards of the garden. And, and I'll show you what I saw. I, I was searching and searching. First of all, I don't want to touch it again because they hurt. But second of all, um, I wanted to show you and I also wanted to show Justice. He's really into bugs. This is like a ridiculous I spy. See this antenna? Yeah. So all I saw was this little blip of antenna, that little color. I'll show you the caterpillar now, look. There it is. It looks like a little saddle. Isn't that cool, have you ever seen one? Yeah. You wanna touch it? Mm -mm. It stings really, really good, bad. And they love to eat the corn plants. Okay. Got some corn. I'm gonna show you how I like to do this to keep the house clean because it kind of be a little messy shucking corn in the house. I like to shuck in the garden and um, just bring the clean ears of corn in. Will you hand me that bowl to put these in? And the last thing we'll do inside is just scrub off any of this extra silk on here. I should have brought a knife just to chop these ends off. That would be my normal thing. So everything stays really clean. And we're just throwing all this up into the compost here. Here, grab the melon, buddy. Don't drop it, it's pretty ripe. I think it would bust open if you dropped it. All right, we got enough corn for everyone who's here, I think. I hope it's enough. I only do about two or three minutes on the corn. I don't, don't want it overcooked. 
Everything's coming together, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm quite sure I did not hit my medium rare on these steaks. I actually left them on the skillet in uh, just with under Grace's watch fly while I was right here in the garden. And I don't I didn't ask her to turn them. It's my fault. So that's okay. These beans are just now done just a few minutes ago. I've uh, let the pressure off. Um, this is an Instapot if you've never seen one. It's basically just a smart pressure cooker. I mean, it, you can program it. And this is the second time ever I've cooked beans. And my secret, if you if you want to ask, is big chunk of bacon. I think this is what they call Southern style green beans. It's like they're they're good. 15 minutes. Um, no, 10 minutes. I did 10 minutes high pressure as though you had boiled them, which is the kind of the traditional way, simmering them for sometimes hours, depending on how big and tough they are. Drain the corn so it doesn't overcook, get too cooked there. Last but not least is this melon. I hope it's really ripe. It smells like it's ripe. It feels like it's ripe. But let's wash it first. It was just sitting in the dirt out there. Wow, it smells good. Guys, uh, I'm actually, Brie is gonna be, I'm gonna just say sad that she missed this, our first melon ever. I just feel like this meal needs this extra freshness and we're gonna go ahead. There's another one, at least another one. There may be more out there. Yeah, we'll save her a piece. Brie's not here right now. She's uh, running some important errands and then seeing an old friend. What'd you say? All this is from a farm. All of that is from our little farm. You're exactly right. We really grew it in our garden. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try the melon? Do you want to have your dessert? Do you want to try this? I know you're going to like it. Pick it up and eat it with your hands. Eat it. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? Yeah. Guys, as we're saying, Grace, today, I just think we should be extra thankful because we got the opportunity to grow all this food. Is what? What's? Who is looking forward to what item the most? Bacon. Bacon? Okay, yeah, you, she's gonna eat the bacon out of the beans. What? Corn? Corn. Joyful? Says melon. What about you, Bright? What's your favorite thing here without even tasting it? That. Really? That, melon? That and that. I think I'm most looking forward to the melon, honestly. Corn, though, definitely. Uh, honestly, everything. I'm looking forward that. to everything. Why is that yummy? That? Mm. Is that yummy? Yeah, you're just gobbling it. Alright, who wants a piece of corn? Me. You want a whole one or half one? Not me. Whole! Okay, this, is this is what I want. I want to give you the quarter. Do you want to break it in half? No. Are you sure? No. Okay, it's hot. Grace, you want a piece now? Yes. Two. I, I ate this. I was having a piece of melon. Hey, hey what are you talking about? Just wait. That's my thing. This is hot. This is hot. This is melon. He has a piece. This is very hot. you got to wait on this. So Actually, you know, I'm going to cut it off for you. Um, who, can I cut a snake, a steak for anyone? Joyful. Yes. Get your hands off the melon. Put it down right there. Put the melon. Put the melon right here. There you go. They have my uh, I'm gonna cut this steak up. Who, does anyone want me to cut a piece of steak for them? Yes, me. Snake. Let's see. Bubba's not gonna have any. There's enough for everyone. See. One more for Brighton, Dad, and then Mom. What do I do? I I don't eat melon. Yeah, me too. I do. Then just like, we can save two for mom. Oh. Justice wants some steak? Here you go. No. Nope. Oh, I do. Here you go. Here you go. This was hot. It's very hot. It'll burn you. It's very hot. It'll burn you. Corn cobs set right in the middle. Careful, it's very hot. Do we eat some old? Ooh, watch those fingers. Hot. Hot. It's very hot. It's Yeah, um, let me get you a stir in okay? I'm not looking for a bacon. This is a choice. Mm. What? Mm. Yours. 
You mean like... When we eat a late big meal, sometimes we call it lupper and then we just have a snack at supper time. And when daddy's in charge, sometimes it's frequently that happens because lunch is so late. What a storm! What do y'all think? It looks like you got. Did it hurt? No. I got a piece this big. Did it hurt bad? No, kind of. You gotta I, be I careful with nails. It is sunny over there. Blue skies over here. Yeah, you all can go inside. And it's still raining on us. I just this is my favorite. One of my favorite things of the summer. So it feels like a little blessing just kind of dropped on our heads, I guess. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We got to show you today what a joy it is to have a garden where you can go shopping in your backyard. If you don't have a garden, you should try to grow a little one next year or even right now. You still have time in, in many areas of um, the world, the Northern Hemisphere, to plant a winter garden, planting greens and stuff, which we'll be planting in the next, hopefully, few days. And if you have a garden, you know how much fun it is. Anyway, thanks for joining us and we'll see you really soon in an upcoming video, so goodbye.